हेलो एवरीवन दिस योर कैप्टन प्रशांत एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल आज हम लोग डिस्कस करने वाले डिसेंट्रल लैंड के बारे में सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर नोइंग अबाउट डिसेंट्रल लैंड वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज मेटावर्स सो मेटावर्स इज नथिंग बट वर्चुअल थ्री डायमेंशनल वर्ल्ड जस्ट लाइक आवर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड सो वेयर हैव यू सीन दिस बिफोर अगर आप में से किसी ने नेटफ्लिक्स का ब्लैक मिरर सीरीज देखा हो या फिर इफ यू वॉच्ड अ मूवी कॉल्ड फ्री काय और मूवी कॉल्ड रेडी प्ले वन इन ऑल दिस वेब सीरीज एंड मूवीज वी हैव सीन अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड एंड दैट्स व्हाट वी आर अबाउट डिस्कस टुडे सो करेंटली एवरी बिग टेक कंपनी इज इंटरेस्टेड इन मेटावर्स दे वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट देयर ओन मेटावर्स प्लेटफॉर्म एंड गेट आइड इन द रेस सो राइट नाउ वी हैव फोर बिग प्लेयर्स इन दिस मेटावर्स so the first being facebook's meta so facebook renamed their brand to meta secondly we have decentraland thirdly we have axie infinity and fourth we have sandbox so out of these four platforms the later three are backed by blockchain technology out of these four platforms the blockchain technology platforms are fully decentralized wherein facebook is not fully decentralized because it is owned by mark zuckerberg only he can decide the price of a land also he can decide what kind of ads he want to show what uh, what kind of data or what kind of scenery what kind of uh, features he want to implement in this virtual world but decentraland x infinity and sandbox they are fully decentralized versions where the users and the developers actually can vote and mutually decide what they want to implement in their virtual world in this virtual world we can do pretty much everything that we do in physical world we can create our own avatar we can interact with other users on in this virtual world we can play various games with them and everything let's talk about decentraland decentraland is nothing but a fully decentralized three dimensional virtual world it was founded in 2015 by two agentries named arel melic and estabin ordano currently the decentraland developers they are running the project on their portal we can see They have mentioned "Welcome to Decentraland: Create, Explore, and Trade," the first ever virtual world owned by its users. So, like I said, Decentraland is a fully decentralized version of virtual world where the users can actually vote and decide what should be the rate of a land, what data or what new policies they want to implement, what kind of graphics or maybe what events that they want to conduct in their virtual world. It can be mutually decided by the votes. of their users and not by a centralized authority and here you can see they have mentioned we can buy and sell land estates we can create avatar and their variables all these nft avatars also nft is nothing but a non fungible token which can represent a digital asset and this digital asset can be anything it could be in the form of art it could be in the form of painting it could be a picture it could be a pair of shoes every nft is unique and they can have only one official owner at a time they are secured by the ethereum blockchain that is why nobody can modify that record of ownership if you look at the market place it mentions the total sales total volume da revenue that shows trending nft items for last 24 hours it also shows newest items in the market place so we can buy all these cool nfts that we want to put on our avatars once we create it Decentraland is powered by Mana tokens which was launched in 2017 so let's talk about Mana tokens let's go to coin market cap and discuss about Mana tokens currently with the Mana tokens rank is 33 current trading price is 64 rupees the circulating supply is 1.85 billion mana the total supply is over 2 billion mana tokens if we scroll down and take a look at the historical price of Mana token since its launch So initially, when it was launched in 2017, it was trading at around one rupee, and back in November 21, it hit 383 rupees. It has provided a huge exponential gains for its users. Let's talk about its funding. Decentraland has done four funding rounds and invested over a total of 25 million dollars in these four funding rounds. They have got nine in, nine investors, uh, where are some institutions have already invested in this project we can see their names mentioned here 
back in 2017 they had done their initial coin offering so in stock market we have ipo for non listed companies so in crypto market we have something called ico for new crypto coins so they have done their uh, ico in 2017 after that we have seen several institution investing in this project so let's talk about the use cases of all these metaverse platforms the first being metaverse concert justin bieber has done the first ever metaverse concert on a platform called wave it was a 30 minute metaverse concert he interacted closely with over 10.7 million people who participated in this concert sitting at their home later on we have seen a similar concert done by ariana grande which attracted over 78 million players at this concert so we have already started seeing the use cases of all these metaverse platform metaverse concert being the first apart from concert we can actually generate income by playing games on this platform there's a game called axie infinity where which is also a metaverse platform which is very famous in philippines back in covid times people lost their job and we were made to sit in our houses due to pandemic and all the restrictions so people in philippines were not able to put food on their table so they started playing this game and uh, which rewards their users in tokens and which we can convert into digital currency so people started playing this game and ended up earning more than what they were earning on daily basis they started putting food on their table so right now there's whole generation of people in philippines who have left their daily jobs and they play this axie infinity game on full time basis and actually earn out of it so video gaming which ends up earning us money is the second use case currently that we are seeing like i mentioned earlier we can actually buy a land create a commercial building maybe create a stadium and everything on these platforms even buying land in metaverse has got very good attention from big institutional players giant technology platforms like microsoft google facebook they want to invest in these metaverse platforms and get ahead in the race which shows us top deals in metaverse so far so back in november 21 there was a land sale deal on decentraland which ended up earning them over 2.43 million in november 21 there was also a land deal happened on axie infinity which generated a price of 2.3 million dollars so it's real money that these people are investing on the land deals in metaverse and it has got huge attention from all the public over the globe currently out of these four projects i do not have an idea which project will sustain or the period of next 5 to 10 years and which would be the successful platform nobody knows this is everything about decent land and i think i have explained everything about metaverse and decent land guys thank you for watching this video do let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment box do let me know which platform you feel that will sustain in the longer run अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आए तो प्लीज शेयर द वीडियो लाइक द वीडियो अगर आप में से किसी ने अभी तक मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो गाइज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल थैंक यू